Hello friends, in today's session, I'll give you tips again how to solve a question of quantitative aptitude uh, with very less use of pen and paper in a faster pace. So as I was telling you that in case you are able to convert your fraction into uh, per or percentage into fractions, a lot of time can be saved in solving question and that can only be done in case you remember. This is a homework that you need to do. If you remember your reciprocal from 1 to 130, express in percentages that you need to remember. That's very simple to remember. I can help you in remembering the reciprocals from 1 to 30, express in percentages and that can be done within 2-3 minutes. We know that 1 is expressed as 100%. So if 1 is 100%, what I am going to do, I am going to divide left hand side and right hand side by 2. So 1 by 2 is going to be 50%, 1 by 4 is going to be 25%, 1 by 8 is going to be equal to 12.5% and 1 by 16 is going to be equal to 6.25%. So this is something that you can do very easily. Similarly when I move ahead and take 1 by 3, you know the 1 by 3 is 33.33%. So 1 by 6 is half of 33 which is 16.66. 1 by 12 is half of 16.66 which is 8.33%. So 1 by 24 will be half of 8.33 which is nothing but 4.167%. So that means if you are ever stuck up with a calculation which is 8.33% of something, rather than finding out 8.33% you can directly write this as 1 by 12 because 1 by 12 is going to be 8.33 divided by 100. This is what I am trying to tell you. Similarly, let's say if I want, if I know, I know that 1 by uh, let's 1 by 4 I have done, 1 by 6 I have not done. So I need to remember it for a prime number. So reciprocal of 1 by 7 is 14.28 percent. So 1 by 14 will be half of 14.28 which is 7.14 percent. And 1 by 28 will be half of 7.14 which is nothing but 3.57 percent. So that is what you need to remember is the reciprocal of a prime number. Remaining things will be half of the previous one. Similarly, if I wanted to find 1 by 8 that we have already done, which is 12.5%, 1 by 9 probably will be 1 third of 1 by 3. So if 1 by 3 is 33.33, 1 by 9 will be 1 third of 33, which is nothing but 11.11%. So 1 by 9 will come out to be equal to 11.11%. So if 1 by 9 is 11.11, 1 by 18 will be half of 11.11, which is nothing but 5.55%. So this is how you can do it. Now, let's say if I wanted to move ahead, 1 by 10 is simple, if I wanted to do it for again another prime number which is 11. So 1 by 11 you need to remember is 9.09. .09. So 1 by 22 will be half of 9.09 .09, which is nothing but 4.54%. So this is how you have done till here. Now if I move one step ahead and go to next prime number which is 13, you will have to remember. 1 by 12 you have already done is 8.33. So next is 1 by 13 which is nothing but 7.69%. So 1 by 26 will be half of 7.69 which will be nothing but 3.84%. Now comes 1 by 14 which you have already done with 1 by 7 that is 7.14%. 1 by 16 you have already done that is 6.25. 1 by 17, 17 being a prime number, you will have to remember that 1 by 17 is 5.88%. So that's it because it's the open we, we, we don't require to go for 1 by 34. Then comes 1 by 18 which we have already seen when we were doing it for 1 by 9 which is 5.55. Now 1 by 19, 1 by 20 and 1 by 21 can be remembered simultaneously. Because we know that 1 by 20 is nothing but 100 by 20 which will come out to be equal to 5%. And 1 by 19 will be more than 5% and 1 by 21 will be less than 5%. So this is approximately 0.25 more and this is approximately 0.25 less. So this will come out to be equal to 5.25% and this will come out to be equal to 4.75%. These are the approximate values nevertheless. But if, I, if you want to remember the exact one, this is 5.26% and this is 4.76%. So we have reached till 1 by 21. 1 by 22 we have already done when we were doing 1 by 11 that is 5.4.54 then comes 1 by 23 now 1 by 23 and 1 by 29 can be remembered together again out of 1 by 23 and 1 by 29 1 by 23 will be bigger and this will be smaller so this is 3 teen char panch the decimal will come after 3 so it is 3.45 and this is char teen panch the decimal will come after 4 so this is 4.35 
This is how you can remember these two numbers. Then comes, <coughs> I'll be writing here, 1 by 24, 1 by 25, and 1 by 26. 1 by 25 we know is 4%, 100 by 25. This will be 0.16 less, and this will be 0.16 more. So this will come out to be equal to 4.16, and this will be nothing but 3.84%. Now the only number that we are left is 27. 1 by 27 you will have to remember is nothing but 3.7. 1 by 28 is 3.57. 1 by 29 we have already done is 3.45. And 1 by 30 is going to be 1 tenth of 1 by 3. 1 tenth of 1 by 3 will come out to be equal to 3.33%. So herein I would like you people to invest some time in remembering this reciprocals of numbers from 1 to 1, 1 to 30 expressed in percentages and start applying it while solving questions on quantitative aptitude.